Hi. Hello everybody and welcome to another stream. Today we are gonna be playing some more Jump King as the title of the stream says. Um, blah. <clears throat> there we go. Um, yeah, that's gonna be it. That's gonna be it. That's gonna be it. I hope everybody's having a good day. I uh, am having a good day, I think. Am I having a good day? You know, sometimes in life that's something we need to do, right? Because people will ask you, how are you? And we go and say, yeah, I'm, I'm fine, I'm fine, you. But it's become so accustomed that we respond always with, I am fine, that we sometimes don't actually think about that, right? Am I fine? That's a great question, because socially it's kind of weird to answer something other than fine, right? If Because it's one of the cornerstones of uh, what they call small talk, or of a greeting. You meet someone, they will be like, hey, how are you? And we we are like, yeah, fine, you? And they will, oh, I'm fine, okay, cool, 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 see you later, and yeah. Because if you are like something, uh, I'm actually feeling like shit. <laughs> there will be, you put them on a very compromising situation because the social contract is that it is nice to ask how the other person is, but the social contract is that the other person will also tell you that they are doing okay so they don't put you in an uncomfortable co co conversation. That is like the two-side uh, social contract of that greeting. And when somebody breaks it, then the person who breaks the conta contract is considered like the bad person, like the, the one who's making the situation more difficult than it should be. And yeah, that's not that's not cool because we grow accustomed to saying that we are fine. We are always fine. We are always fine. Everything is fine. It's like the the dog emote. The dog emote. It's like my emote, which is inspired on the dog meme. It's always fine. And because of that, we might just stop thinking about how we are feeling, right? Um. It's good to stop sometimes and just take a moment and figure out, am I, am I feeling fine? Am I okay? I, do I have to? Because if you recognize yourself not being okay, then you can do something about it. And that's great. There is no worse thing that just, well, there are a lot of worse things, but it's a bad thing where you are just going through the emotions and you're just assuming you're fine because it can put you in a bad mental state. One of the biggest things you learn with um, working on your mental health, treating depression, treating anxiety, treating a lot of stuff is that we normalize pain. We normalize misery, we normalize a bad situation. If you are in a situation, because we are very adaptable and that's a curse and a blessing. The human body is too adaptable and if you are in the same spot for a long time, your body and your mind will be like, well, this is my normal and you will start measuring things against that normal. But, and this is something you learn when you are working on your mental health and stuff, sometimes our normals are like really bad. <laughs> and I say that something where I found out after working a lot of my mental health that yeah my normal was used to be really awful and what is now a bad day for me for example it it was a great day for past me and and nowadays it's like no I'm feeling bad <laughs> so a couple of years ago, I could be having the, a really good day and be very happy and I will be, oh yeah, I'm so happy. I just spent the whole day playing uh, the computer and didn't think about anything and, uh, 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 and I didn't have an anxiety attack and that was great. And today I will be like, geez, I just play to shut down my brain. Mm, that's not good. That's not good. Because... Uh, and again, it's not about the playing, it's about why you're playing, like, because I, I still have a couple of the days where I will just game the whole day, but this is because I was like, ah, I want to take it out of my system. I don't game as much as I as I used to. So, a couple, 
couple of times per per once or per month or something like that. I, I like having a day where I just splurge on gaming. Um, outside streams, outside everything, where I just yeah can focus on enjoying myself. But it's not about shutting down my brain and not thinking about things like I used to in the past. And it's a completely different perspective. And it's that what makes me see how much I have advanced. So I guess what I'm trying to say is that, yeah, take a moment, think about how you are, how you feel. And if you're seeing that you are not okay, or if you could do better, like think about how you can improve your day. Because maybe, maybe you just need to change your environment a bit maybe you need to do something i mean it's it's hard every person has different ways to to improve their lives and their days right um but there is also things you can do and that's important there are things that you have an agency over your life you have agency over your feel there is nothing worse than being defeatist in that regard where saying like nothing i do will make me feel better and no Maybe you will have some days where it, it it just they don't work, right? But you can work towards your happiness, and you can even if you don't get immediate results. I think the important part is to keep moving. So, because the worst thing you can do when you feel like bad, when you're in a bad mind spot, is to do nothing, is to just wait for things to pass because they might pass. Sometimes stuff passes on. Our brain, as I said, adapts. But when that happens, you are not really working on the situation and you're removing your agency. Not having agency over your mind health is super bad because you are gonna just... I, I, I used to be like that. Just being in a position where I was like, I, I'm feeling like shit today, but I will just wait until next week and I, I, for the next up time, right? There will be down times and up times. I will just wait for the next up time and there is nothing I can do. So I just need to survive until the next point where I feel better. That's shit. That's, that, that's, that doesn't work. That, that, that's awful because you, you remove all your agency. And the, the wonderful thing you will learn once you start working on your mental health is that, yeah, you, there are things you can do and you can, you can turn what will be like a a bad day into a bad hour or about 30 minutes. I've done that. I've done that. I've, I've been in situations where in the past I would be like uh, out of commission for a whole weekend and I'm like, I take measures. I, I, I have coping mechanisms. I have like ways to work on, on, on an issue and by applying, applying what I have learned and by applying, by being, it's like a muscle, right? You train yourself, you train into uh, achieving better stages of mental health but by applying everything by applying the work i turn what would be like a long time a weekend that i'm out of it into maybe 30 minutes an hour or even less and 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 then i'm like back to full power and because yeah you're <clears throat> you're always gonna have like a bad, bad moments in your life it's not always wonderful that's life but yeah don't give up work I keep moving i don't know why this become like a mental health well i mean well fuck it yeah it, it's fine that you become mental health i like talking about mental health i work so much on mental health so i do i do like when when i can show my experience to people because if there is something is like i've been on very lows and i want people to know that yeah you don't have to be in a huge low you you can go back up. And um, speaking of going back up, we're gonna be playing some Jump King, you know? A, a game about perseverance, about learning, about becoming better and not giving up. <laughs> so I guess that's like a, a very a, a very good segue to the game, isn't it? So yeah, let's let's go to the game. <clears throat> let's see if I can make a bit of progress this time. So let me switch to scene. Of course, the game doesn't show. It's gonna, it's gonna show in a moment. You probably can hear it right now. I think should 
Shumkin needs a bit more Alvia now. Okay, Shumkin, please. <laughs> Come on. There we go. There we go. It just needed the, like a, a, a couple of refreshes. <laughs> all right. All right. All right. All right. So yeah, mm, Jump King. Of course, we're gonna fall at the start because this is how we land. This is how. We, we need to regain our, our muscle memory again. That's how, that's how it works, you know? That's how it works. As always, we probably gonna be like... Um, playing this for a bit and if I find myself getting frustrated or tired, which will happen at some point, I guess, I have a limit of how many hours I can play this game, you know? And... Um, this is fine. This is fine. <laughs> yeah, I find myself that there is a limit of how much I can play this game because before I start getting a bit frustrated. And... Um, once that happens, we'll switch game. We can play... maybe? I'm thinking about some power wash today. Some power wash simulator. I don't want to play more Hades right now. Not 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 because the game has anything wrong with it, right? I'm enjoying my Hades runs, but I just yeah, I just don't feel like it. Okay. I just need to I just I just need to regain my muscle memory. <coughs> And this is why uh, I want to beat this game and I don't want to keep playing. I don't want to take a long break because I feel like I will lose mo most of my uh, everything I, I learned here. So... Oh. <laughs> uh, okay, that was funny. Hmm. Well, uh, okay, so, but let's find something to talk about while I'm jumping. I, the, the worst thing I want to do is to go completely quiet. So, I'm gonna be boring as... F Should I be boring? Should I be boring? Should I be entertaining? What, we, what can we talk about? What can we talk about? Because What do I want to talk about? I want to talk about content creation. I want to talk about my journey and content creation. Um, so, for people who may be watching, because, you know what, uh, something I do, I don't, I don't know if anybody's watching this. And if you are, don't feel compelled to talk, you don't need to, but I don't, I don't watch my viewer numbers or anything, because I, I don't feel like this is important uh, information at this stage, so... I'm always, my goal is to always stream like there is like a, a ton of people watching me. So I don't, I, I'm, something I did back in the past that was like really bad because I was uh, checking my numbers is that when I was seeing like and uh, nobody was watching the stream, I first I will feel bad. But this is, uh, where, uh, this is past me who was in a very different mind state that I am right now, right? In a worse mind space. So the lack of viewership at that time was uh, becoming stressful. And this is why I took a very big break of a year. But something I'm... I used to do is having like the amount of viewers uh, on screen and on on one of my uh, uh, of one of my screens, right? And that made it so when I was seeing like the number was super low or there was no one watching, I will shut down. I will just stop talking. I will just go through the motions, play the game in silence, and it, it, it was. <laughs> It was less enjoyable than if I wasn't playing the game on stream, right? I mean, at that point, I, I, I could have been playing the game on my own and probably would be more fun because there was, like, this sense of um, frustration that I had. Um, yeah, that was very bad, and that also was really super... Hui! 
Uh, super bad content wise too, right? There is nothing worse than a streamer that's... Well, unless it's a long play or something, you have find a niche of persons who enjoy it, but just playing the game in, in silence, like you are angry or something, it's really bad energy. Um, I'm very conscious about the energy I exude while playing games now. Da -da 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 -da. Yeah. So, this is why I... First, I don't think seeing my numbers will affect me as much nowadays, because I feel like in a way better mind place, but nevertheless, I don't feel like at this point in my journey is an important stat I should be paying attention to. So I'm just not focusing on those. I just don't keep numbers on my screen. I don't even watch my numbers at the end. I used to watch I, I, because I, I, I try to not watch my numbers um, when before my hiatus and... <clears throat> ah, sorry. Okay, give me a second. Okay, okay. I needed to clear my throat and <laughs> I didn't make my, many cool no noises while, while doing that. So I used to not care about my now. I, I, well, I, I used to do the thing where I don't, I don't watch my numbers, but I, I will still watch the report at the end and you get like a mail from Twitch and if you use any other kind of service they usually give you a mail too and those mails will usually show you how, how your averages were and stuff like that so um, and even though I didn't watch the live numbers sometimes I will watch I will watch the reports and if, if the numbers on those reports weren't good I will get like frustrated and bad and yeah Nowadays, even though I think I can handle it better, I know I can handle it better, I still not subjecting myself to that because I don't need to. I don't feel like this is a... Oh, God. Maybe I can jump two at the same time? Interesting. I don't feel like... I want to try to see what happens if I do a full strength jump from there to there. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, we are we're gonna we're gonna try something stupid. No. Yeah, that 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 was something stupid. Okay. <laughs> Look. The important part is to try stuff, to find w better ways of doing pasta areas because that makes the process a lot faster. Uh, yeah, I was talking like, uh, even though right now I don't feel like I, uh, the, the numbers would make me feel super bad, I still don't feel like I need to subject myself to that because I don't know, I, I guess it's not my goal to have a large amount of viewership right now. I mean, it's, yeah, it is my goal, but knowing the number will not change how I work towards it, I guess. So, I'll just keep doing my best and, and take it from there, you know. I'll just do, do, do my best. at a pace that I feel comfortable with. Because I think that's another important thing, right? Is to have a, a nice pace. Um, this is something I was talking with uh, Mumpa uh, the other day, where I... La, ba, la. So I've been working on... Oh, I, I'm trying to organize my ideas, sorry. Okay, for people who might not be aware, I'm very... I, I have started activating my YouTube channel and I actually, on my main channel, the one that's not for bots, 
I still keep my bots. I'm uploading bots, by the way. Yeah, yeah. If you feel, feel free to check out the bots if you want to see what I was doing in any past stream. That that that's a thing. But I also doing. It's not edited content because what I'm gonna talk about right now. But I'm doing like some YouTube exclusive content, and right now I'm doing a, a, a series of. Uh, playing through a puzzle game called Doors Paradox about uh, uh, like these tiny dioramas where you have to open this, these doors by sliding and solving puzzles and it's very tactile, it reminds me if you play like the Room uh, series of games uh, on tablets which is on, right now is on PC too, uh, it feels very similar to those but yeah there are like a bunch of puzzles, there are like 50 something of those puzzles and I've been doing like one puzzle per episode and I'm loading one episode daily and that's kind of a good way to get into a content creation mindset where I can slowly improve the things I'm doing without feeling like I'm overextending myself because that's one of the things that I've been feeling about content creation that it's kind of dangerous at least personally uh, the idea that I'm putting a lot of effort if I put a lot of effort I usually want to see results and I feel like you don't have control I mean I I'm on a spot where I don't have full control of uh, my results so by overdoing it on the effort area it means that I will be we oui. by overdoing it on the effort area it means I will be uh, generating a, a bit of a, a sense of disappointment by not getting the result I expect and yeah that's kind of bad that's kind of bad so what I'm doing is working step by step just step by step you know Give me a second to focus a bit, uh, so I can leave this area with some luck. Yeah! Hey! Okay, too high. Yeah, sometimes I will try to focus. <laughs> so... But, and I think that's the, the important part, is... Uh, no, I, 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 that jump was the other side, I really remember. But doesn't mean like I'm not putting effort on my content, it's just I don't want to go too hardcore because I feel like if I go too hardcore I will burn out. Uh, um, but I, I really like putting a, a bit of work, you know? Like, I mean, I started doing... For now it's still unedited content, I don't feel like it needs to be edited, though. I I, uh, I, missed, I made a mistake again. Uh, I don't feel like it needs to be edited content at this time. But I started adding thumbnails. Which means that I'm doing a bit of graphics for the things. And I probably will start making thumbnails for the streams too. Which I can then reuse for the bobs and stuff like that. So... It's like a baby step, but makes me feel happy that I'm putting a bit of effort on the things and I don't... I'm not just going through the motions because sometimes it's also kind of dangerous to be in this position where you're just trying the minimum because it's like, yeah, no point in putting effort because nobody's gonna watch this or having those thoughts in, the, in your brain, right? Because, yeah, that, it's not a success focus mentality. But also, I find that if I overexert myself, I will burn out and I don't wanna. So, yeah, I'm trying to find a, a happy medium, you know? I'm trying to find a happy medium. And. As time passes, I feel like I'm putting a bit more effort and working a bit harder until at some point I figure out I will be doing things quite well. Because it's all about practice and that's the other thing. Some people are good at this naturally. 
<laughs> I know I'm not. But it's okay because I can just keep doing it until I'm good. And that's my objective. Just keep doing it until I'm good. Like with Jump King. Jump King is a game that represents my effort in streaming, I could say. Where, yeah, I fall down a lot. But at the end, I also... I'm gonna change the, the volumes a bit. We have two DGMs at the same time. I hope this is not too distracting. I think it, it feels like I'm doing like a mix, you know? <laughs> Maybe the game could be a, a tiny bit quieter though. Okay, I think we are good. Gonna make the game just a tiny bit quieter. Hmm. But yeah, that's my mental spot regarding content creation right now. And I, I, I oh, oh! <laughs> I tried to fix it. I didn't save it. But I also don't want to be one of the streamers that always talk about how. Well, I don't know. Screw it. If I feel like it's something I want to talk about, I will talk about that. So yeah. Check my disc check my Discord, check my <laughs> my YouTube, follow me everywhere. That's the that's the important part. The important part is following 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 me everywhere. There we go, and we do it from there, and we do it from there. And there. 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 Ah, come on! Oh. <laughs> uh, it happens. Okay, I need to be careful there. There we go. Tiny... That was not tiny enough. That was... <laughs> I'll get used to it. I'll get used to it. Hmm. What have I doing other than creating content? I've been consuming media. I haven't reading as much as I would like. My book is on the beach house, so... <laughs> Probably should have more than one book. <laughs> but I don't know. I, can, I, 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 I like to have like an option. A reading option on the beach house. For whenever I go there. Hmm. I've been watching some. I started watching Blue Eyes Samurai. It's cool. It's cool. Kinda. I kinda stopped for a bit, but I don't love it. I think is 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 okay. I like it at least. I don't feel like you have to love every single piece of media also, so... Mm. Yeah. Da, 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 da. Is this Castlevania? Nice. Nice song. But I'm, I'm liking it. I'm liking it. I'll, I, I should keep watching it. Episodes are a bit too long for my taste. I still... I, I like when episodes in a series are like... Um, how do you call it? 24 minutes, uh, half an hour, right? When it's a one hour episode, I feel like, eh. Uh. Ah, no. I don't want, I, I don't know if I, if I have the time usually for that. Or if I can have the focus. I started a new anime series that, that's been like, I knew that I was gonna watch it. I was just allowing it to build a bunch of episodes for the season because it's seasonal it's from this season um th this one is called fluffy paradise it's about it's another isekai because of course everything is an isekai uh this is 
about someone who's reborn as a kid. It's a re reincarnation, it's a guy, so the main character dies and is born again and has a new family and everything. And she's now a, a tiny little girl, but she gets a mission from a god or the god of that universe, I guess. So she has to decide if humanity in a certain world is worth saving or if it should be wiped up wiped out and to do so she gets reincarnated as a um, and she's offered a, a single power and with her being like a plushy fluffy things obsessed person she asks for being able to pet a lot of cute stuff basically so the god of that world gives her gives her the power that all creatures that are not human will feel naturally drawn to her. She basically is a friend to all animals and then you start watching that the classification is not... It's one of those fine print kind of deals that was not intentional. I mean, she wasn't trying to overrule... The, uh, I mean, she just asked to pet fluff, fluffy things. And the god of that world gave her, like, the ability that initially it seemed like it was going to be animals, but in reality it's like, yeah, it's anything that's not non-human kind of likes her. So so she can make friends with uh, also non-human, with monsters, and I don't know, we, we still are seeing the extent of how, lo how far away it works, but it works with sentient creatures like goblins and stuff like that too. So it's kind of an OP ability, you know? <laughs> It's a it's a bit of an OP ability, being being able to basically charm all kind of creatures. But it's not. It's kind of a bit of a power fantasy. I think that because she's kind of like five years old at this point, and she's having plans and things in motion and her family is like she was born a noble so she has social status in this world and her family is super like yeah well you want to create a village and put a bunch of things there and whatever and they're like yeah we'll help you we'll work with you uh, but she, she, she's she's five years old why 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 Technically, there is a reason why they should pay attention to her because she early on befriends a, a dragon, so she's an asset to the kingdom. But still, kind of feels weird and they sometimes they treat her like a child, but sometimes it's like, yeah, we'll let, we'll let you participate in this complex social politic uh, movement that we are doing uh, to to change the how the kingdom works and stuff like that <laughs> honestly it yeah it's one of those animes where you have to be like a bit no do, do not think about that too much like just it, it's supposed to be mostly funny cute and it, it, it does the thing it's it's a very light-hearted anime uh, very good for to to watch during a meal honestly i feel like uh yeah, it's a great mealtime anime. I'm enjoying it quite a bit. It's it's good. Fluffy Paradise, it's called. Uh, can I save this? Maybe. No. Can I save this? No. I think I can save it. Oh, there we go. And go here. And go here. Yeah. Save that. Okay. Okay, I can work with that. I need to become better at that jump and at this one. This one I jumped too little. Have you been watching something else? Yeah, I have. I have been watching this. Uh, this anime, it's kind of cool. Ugh, jump too much. It's called Bottom Tier Character Tomosaki Kun, and this one is about this dude who is 
as a gamer. <laughs> he's a stereotypical gamer. He's very good at what this world will be like the, the version of Smash Brothers, which they call Tag Fam for Attack Families there on, the, on, on that world. They have the, like the old version of Smash. And he's just. He's, he's your typical like gamer character who gave up on life and just he just focused on his on his game. But he meets one of the character one of the their opponents on the online opponents who turns out to be his classmate of course and she just when he, she meets him, she's just utterly disappointed in, in him, like completely disgusted by his presence. She's like, I cannot believe that my, my online rival is this mess of a person. So after some heart of heart, they decide that he should be trying to win at the game of life too, the dude. Uh, and she embarks in a quest to help him become a better person. To be to be to be a better a better player in the game of life, um, the ge it starts super slow, but it works a lot with the concept of interpersonal relationships, with group dynamics, with how to how different personalities meshes with different groups, and how and and, and treats like concept of uh, if you should change yourself to better adapt uh, and integrate in society. It's kind of cool. The first season is pretty okay, but the second season has the first six arc is like six or, or so episodes about. A character being a character from from the cast being bullied because of like again group dynamics and things like that and it, it has like a weird perspective on how to how they deal with the issue which I guess maybe is a bit too Japanese at some points but it it's still quite interesting and very a lot of emotional moments, a lot of uh, of character growth and character interactions. Also, something you learn early on is that the, because they did this thing where, yeah, the premise of the show is that the girl helps the dude uh, grow as a person. But there is no evident romantic attraction between any of these characters like there is like a bunch of first there is a balanced cast of girls and dudes and okay, okay i need to sort of my thoughts so one of the things i like is you have a cara it's not just a harem anime there are there are girls but they are dudes also and they are very prominent so it's not about and not all there are like situations where yeah some of the girls might show like a, a building attraction towards the main character especially now that he's been growing as a person but it's more on the level of maybe high school crushes and um, not every single character is attracted to him they they, they mostly have moments you know some and, and it's a bunch of characters and the, the relationship with the, ca the, the main character is kind of different depending on the character. Not every ca and not every character is necessarily part of the same group. Like he has, it's not like they are. They meet each other and they perform some activities together. But it's not like every single female character belongs to the same cluster as the main character. They're not always together. For example, he has like a a more. Like, yeah, he has one of the girls uh, called Kikuchi. She is like a, a writer. She wants to become a writer, and they, they usually meet on the library with the main character, and they usually and they they go on dates, which are not meant to be romantic. They go on outings and stuff, but and this is kind of the character who is mostly building towards to be like a more prominent r romantic uh, thing because just the dynamic they are having, right? 
uh, and you can see that she clearly has some feelings but she's not like necessarily part of the other group because she doesn't really speak a lot with the other girls or until uh, on this last arc they they start interacting a bit more but it, it, it's this idea that not every person you meet are part of the same group of people right it's you are part of these different groups and you have different interactions with different people and, and that, that that that's kind of cool not every character from the group gets along in the same way it feels like it has a very refreshing uh, viewpoint on group dynamics compared to what uh, other animes of the same genre uh, tend to do. And yeah, it's, it's kind of refreshing and, and cool. I like it. I like it. I, li I like seeing who, what will happen because it's one of those where you really, I mean, I guess the end goal, one of the end goals is for him to get a girlfriend, but you don't really know which one he's going to go for, which one uh, is going to reciprocate his feelings or whatever. And I also like that the teacher character, which could be kind of insufferable, because it's like having a high schooler being like, ah, I will teach you how to live life to the other one. And it's like, yeah, you're also, you're also still a kid, come on. But she has a warped viewpoint of life that you early on learn and while she's teaching him to become a better person he's the, the main character tamasaki starts seeing that yeah she's actually has a, a bunch of unresolved issues and her outlook in life is not the outlook i want to have so he early on goes and it's like yeah no i'm not gonna do this kind of stuff because yeah i don't believe in doing this doing stuff this way so we're, I'm gonna follow some of your teachings, but I'm not gonna do everything you tell me to do if I feel like it goes against my my beliefs. So, and that's super cool because you have like this idea that he's going to be uh, teaching her how to to grow as a person as well, which is a very refreshing thing, right? You don't have a, a know-it-all character who has like control of the whole situation. I kind of like the I kind of like this idea a lot. So so yeah, I I forgot what was the right angle there. I I know I can do a full strength jump. I just Hmm. So that's a great anime, bottom tier character Tomosaki. I will heavily recommend watching it. Starts very slowly, but two seasons the second season is ongoing so new episodes are releasing i usually watch my anime and crunch it all so yeah feel free to give that a watch i think that's probably something that a lot of people would enjoy mm -hmm. what else have you well i've been watching a couple of things i started watching uh the something about the faraway paladin it's it's okay it's okay it's it's an isekai again everything is an isekai what are you gonna do right but yeah it's weird it's kind of non non-standard but not in a it, it it looked like it was going to be more interesting honestly okay made some Progress, I guess. Come on. I still want to go for the coin, which is a problem, I guess, because... Oh. I still want to go for the coin. Because that, that's a bit of progression uh, we are going to have here, right? So... Hmm. Wait, I can't go down here. Ah, I think I've been trying to jump from... There we go! Okay, we got it. Now, what do we do?
Hmm. I feel like if I... Yeah, I'm gonna bump. Okay. Oh. Okay, okay. I I'm happy we got the coin because I don't have to focus so much on getting the coin anymore. Oh, that was the run, the, the worst place to fall. <laughs> Too much. Ah, oh. <laughs> no, that's the worst place to fall. Okay, we, we have some bad falls still. We have place. Uh, they 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 can force you to to take some some really bad falls. <laughs> I'm happy we got the crow. I consider getting the crow as obtaining some some success here. Come on! <laughs> uh. Oh! I think we can make it. Bargainborg. Oh, good old Bargainborg. There we go. And... Okay, wait, wait, wait. No! <laughs> okay, that 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 was my fault. But yeah, bottom tier character Tomosaki, kind of fun. Well, far away Paladin, I was talking about. Eh, that one is hit and miss. If you have nothing better to do, watch it. <laughs> the the initial premise is kinda cool, but it's getting a bit too preachy for my taste. So, eh. The power fantasy is not going in the direction I enjoy. But oh well. Ah, come on. Come on! He's making me practice this area. Oh! Oh well, he's making me practice the earlier areas now. There we go. No, I, I keep doing the same mistake. Come on. <laughs> uh, so, yeah. What else have I been watching? I've been... Hmm. What else have I been watching? Well, Freedom. Everybody's watching Freedom. Watch Freedom. I, I don't know. There is nothing I can tell you. I mean, it's it's it's, it's wonderful. It's just really cool. It's uh, it, 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 it's just fantastic. Watch Freedom. <laughs> I mean, the there is no no no, no other thing I, I should need to tell you about that. It, it's just so cool. Oh, come on. No, no, no. Ah! I hate that fall. <laughs> oh, he's, making, he's making me practice this area so much. No. Oh. Uh, come why cannot go that area? Never. Let me, let me, let, let me have a, 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 an easy way back. Don't force me to do everything again. <laughs> oh. All right, all right. I'll do it because I love you, game. Maybe if, if I can, like, convince the game that I like it. <laughs> I want a new hat. 
that was those were the great days when I was getting progress by getting new hats. Oh, come on. Uh, okay, okay. I'm, I'm good. I'm, I'm, I'm still good. We've been making guy. We made progress. We made progress. That's the important part. We made progress. The important part is to make some progress uh, on the game. Mm. There we go. There we go. And there we go. We are back at Valgenborg. Go. I'm not. Yeah, I'm not good at the jump. At least. Huh. There we go. <laughs> oh no. Thank you! <laughs> uh, each time I don't have to do this again makes me happy. At least I'm failing on a place that's a bit higher. Okay. 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 No. No. <laughs> no, no, that was Oh my god. I felt like a sack of potatoes there. <laughs> uh, come on, come on. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. No, that was, that was, yeah, uh, at least, at, look, 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 at least that was one of those, okay. I lost the timing, I lost the timing, that's the problem. I lost the timing, come on. Come on. Ah, uh, better. There we go. Not too much. I think I did. Uh, uh, yeah, I, I, I went over it. There we go. So What the hell is this? You shall never make it to the grave of the legend. Even if you succeeded, she would refuse you. 
You are doomed to fail. I read it in your soul. For you are an insignificant, small, and ugly creature. This is why I wear a helmet. Is this a secret area? Okay, I like this. This is... This feels like a bit of a self-contained area. Maybe there is a hut here. What's this? Bright Crown Woods. Oh! This is the way forward? Huh. Bright Crown Woods. Is that... But... Interesting. Okay. So this is the way forward? Do you want to know? Uh, yeah, sure, hit me. Is this like an alternate, uh, a, a, a secondary area? Because I'm kind of confused, so I don't, I don't have to go up from here. Also, hybrid. Uh. Okay, it works. It works. It works. It works. I scare the crow. I scare the crow. That works for me. Oh no. Oh. Yeah, I, I, I was. Uh... Oh, come on. <laughs> what? <laughs> Pretty sure I, I should have fallen there. I, I I think I glitched through the geometry. There are two DLCs areas that are separate towers to climb. Ah, so that is like a DLC area. Are harder than the main one. Okay, yeah, I was kind of weird. It felt really weird that I was getting like a new base, right? A new a new floor. Because it's like I cannot fall from this <laughs> from this zone, <laughs> so that was a, like a DLC. Oh god, I will have to check it once I beat this game. Oh no! <laughs> oh, that that that's 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 gonna be a challenge. It gets harder. It shouldn't get harder. Ah uh, ah! Uh. <laughs> ah, uh, come on. <laughs> 